All right, well, the plan is to make this little cartoon banjo, and it should be relatively simple modeling. And I'm doing this because uh, I'm surrounded by kids these days. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of cartoons, and I thought, hey, this is a cute little thing. Let's, let's give this a little try. I only have a few um, screenshots of this thing, so, um, you know, it's not going to be exactly the same, and I'm not sure what some parts are, but it's relatively simple. And I think I'm going to start with modeling the head here, and we'll work it down. All right. Okay, so here I am in Blender 2.79, and I'm going to switch to Cycles. I just like working in it better, and I think I'll just uh, delete everything. We hit 7 and 5 to look straight down, and go Shift A, and add. I'm going to add a circle. I'm going to make it 12 vertices, like that, and um, I'll scale it a bit. And so that's what I've got. Now, I'm going to take that, Shift D, and I'm going to copy it and make another one, like that. And I'm going to click these two vertices and hit F to make a face. And this one, and I'm going to extrude it out a little bit that way. And this one, and I'm going to extrude a little bit out that way. And then I think I'll come down a bit, like that, a little bit more, and now let's uh, let's get rid of these vertices. Okay, so I've got that selected all. Gee, I'm just going to move it up outside of the 3D cursor here, so I can mirror this thing. And why? should be able to do that in the line. There we go. I'm going to turn on clipping. And um, bring it in. Release. I think I'll get rid of this vertex. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that vertex. X. Uh, dissolve it. Oh, okay, I can apply the mirror first. Yes. All right. And so I would have that. And these should be at the same position. Okay, cool. Let's, um, I think I'm going to select these vertices and uh, F to make a face. I'll do that for all of these. Yeah, my son is in the, in the background there. Not in the bassinet, actually, on the sofa. Behind it, and I hear him. So I'll probably have to take a break in a moment. I just took over from my wife. I'm on the graveyard shift tonight. I should be able to hit F a bunch of times because I got the, I think it's the node wrangler that allows me to make faces all the way down. And so I'm going to be using that to make the head. Now that I think about it, I am going to be uh, doing a mirror anyhow on this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the holes. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click there. And I go S, Y, 0 to straighten that out. I'll bring it over here. And I'm going to make a hole. I think I'll bevel. I'll try it like this. And then I'll put another edge loop in there. And that way I can get four spaces. I just may make them a bit bigger here. I'll move them down. I might do this. And then a shift alt and click that edge and that edge and scale in the Y. Make it a bit bigger and a bit squarer. So okay, I'll switch the face mode so I can get this, okay? And I use that to make holes, and I'll just mirror that. So I'm going to go I to inset, pull it in a little bit, and then W loop tools, and choose circle. And then, uh, okay, go to individual origins, and then scale them in like that. X faces, delete those faces. Cool. Okay, and now I'm going to just uh, miss those and get rid of that. And I'm going to mirror again. I think that's all I want to do. Like that. X as well. Okay, so that's going to be like the head of the of the guitar banjo thingamajig. Um, I'm thinking that I could, 
That's not the way I want to do it. I'm thinking that I could dissolve these. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, let's just go ahead and try. Uh, I'll show you the subdivision surface. And then I'm getting that. And then basically I would extrude and flip the polys and I would start getting that throw some edge loops in. But before I do that, um, I think I'll continue down the neck. So let's just grab that, eat, and I'll come out just a little bit and then I'm gonna start making the neck like this. And then I've got that section, I don't know how far down it is, where it goes up. So it's sort of like about a third, a third of the way. So I'll do it like this. So, Not sure how I want to do this exactly. I wonder if I want to just extrude that up. Like this. Grab that point and bring it over. Um, we could try that first. raise the fretboard there. Let's say I did that. And then what I was thinking, well we gotta do this here. We need to put edge loops in for all these. Not there. Tighten this up. Do it there. And then I'll go control seven to go to the bottom. Geometry, so I got that one there. And come to, let's just move it down, and then uh, let's extrude it down like that. Okay, so I've got this cylinder-like thing I could push through. Let's scale this in his head, make sure it fits through. Okay, I could extend it up here. We could do something with that, and then down here, maybe I could, maybe I just. Uh, E and S, E and Alt M, close it that way. And throw an edge loop here. And then I would grab that vertex. Um, cursor selected. I'm gonna bring in a cube right there. 
we'll scale it down. Make the tuning pegs. Let's scale this in the X. And in the Y. I think let's make it okay. And then uh, I'll put in uh, two edge loops there. I'll just grab this face, pull it like that. Take the whole thing. I'm going to put in a subdivision surface on that. I'll put a little more, su more support. It's just like a simple tuning peg, nothing special. Um, it's a question of how sharp I want this. I'll do, I'll do more. Actually, now that I think about it, is make that a bit narrower. So let's delete these. And we probably don't even need them in the end. And then grab this. I'll scale it in a bit. No, actually, because of the subdivision. Yeah, whatever. Let's bring it down. Let's see how. Uh, hit the period key to focus. Start focusing. Let's scale this. Thing needs a bit more support. That's fine. I'm not gonna do more than that. I don't think. Uh, and then I was thinking up here I could. Uh, let's see what could I do. I could have just bevel like I did before. It doesn't matter. Uh, just while I'm looking in this orientation. Say we grab those and inset W to circle and scale it in. Uh, by the way, I see I've been working in individual origins. Faces, oh, I see I didn't do it on the other side, did I? All right, well, let's backtrack a little bit then. Okay, so I got, let's look at a particular orientation. There's one and control one. Maybe I do need to be an in individual origins, I'm not sure. Inset. W loop tools circle. Now if I scale. Yeah, individual is what I will do when I'm being X faces. I could do that. And then um, I would probably have to. Well, I'm going to close this off. E and S. E and S. I'll do one more. Good enough. I think I would want to have these bridge, bridge edge loops. No nope, merge. And then an edge loop like that. And an edge loop like that. I'll see how that looks. If that worked. Well, maybe not what I wanted exactly. Not exactly what I wanted. Okay, shit, then more support. Let's backtrack a little bit. Let's go in. Do I want to go back too far? Uh, how does she look before I do that? Oh, I see. I did that, didn't I? Sorry about 
about that. Yeah, okay, I should have known. I should have seen it there. Okay, uh, that's fine. W, loop tools, circle, scale. Am I getting the owl? I'm getting the pinching right there, aren't I? Okay. Um, if I just get rid of those. Oh, it looks like that. Okay, well, in that case, what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to try it's just this. No, that's not going to do it. I'm going to have to do it by eye then. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, well, when that happens, <clears throat> uh, when that happens, Doubles? No? Okay, well, good. Let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, okay, let's, um, let's do it this way then. There's my square. Let's just move these, scale these in the Z. I'm an individual origins, aren't I? Scale them in the Z. Okay, let's take this. I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go Shift S. Cursor to selected. And let's bring in a, another circle. Got a cube? Nope. Eight vertices, rotate X90, scale it down until it fits right about there. And then I use the knife tool and I'm just going to trace it. There we go, and I've done that. Take that one. Get rid of those vertices. Take this point and this point, J, 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 and J. Okay, and those ones are joins. I'm gonna grab those two points, scale in the Z, and bring them out. And I am gonna take this point and go GG and slide it out a bit like that. I should be able to do that without. Maybe not so much. This one, GG, just a little bit. Now, I should be able to get rid of these. I think I'm a little bit better off. And what I could do, where's my hole, there's my hole is in wireframe, I can mirror that, right? edge loops without too much trouble. I, think, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe it needed one more like that. I may have just accomplished the same thing. I may have just done the same thing. 
think that's probably all right. And uh, what I could do is uh, think, does that actually change? Nah, I don't like that. I'll just throw an edge loop here, just because I can. And if I put one there, I don't know if that one's necessary at all. Uh, that's probably just fine. Oh yeah, sorry about that. And then I rotate this, I guess. doing it. It was kind of a weird way of doing it. Um, okay, now with that there, let's select that edge there. Actually, yeah. And I'll just bring in a plane. Flip it over. Bring it down. Let's scale it globally a little bit. And apply rotation and scale. And try to bevel. I'm not worried about polys. Number of polys. Let's see what this would look like. I might be using that as some kind of a head nut. We'll see. And let's just start doing this uh, arbitrarily. And then it comes over here, apparently, and they get bigger. I'll just scale in the Y. No, I guess I can't. Okay. So I'll do that. Just a simple, like, little toy thing. We're not getting too accurate or anything, as you can tell. Cursor selected, top view, shift A, mesh, circle, we'll go with, I'm going to try 12 again, see if that's big enough. Let's do it this way. 
this way. So it's like it will attach to that. Let's do these. Um, maybe I don't need the bottom one. I'm gonna come down a bit, I think. Did I come down right? We'll see uh, how that subdivides. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. I'm going to uh, let's take this shifty and bring it down. And it's got a top. Okay, let's go into edit mode and select it and the uh, scale shift Z. Bring it out like that. And then let's grab this bottom edge. Get a bit bigger another one in there and we'll close it off just simply like that and we'll have that part of it maybe that has to be bigger I don't know scale shift Z. let's scale the whole thing down and uh, let's bring the 3d cursor there G I'll bring that back to around around there And that's what I got so far. I feel a bit like that neck is thicker than anything else. I think it's got to be a little bit thinner than these. So I'm going to select both of these and scale them. I might give the sense that the neck is a bit thinner. Let's hit N and uh, under shading, put on ambient occlusion and under display, get rid of grid floor. And why not put on a matte cap too? Uh, not that one though. No. Slide up and just do that one. Just to start getting a different feel for this thing. Okay. How is the bridge mechanism? I feel like it. I don't know where 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 it comes from. I guess no, it's I guess it's just on the little one and it comes up. So let's do something like that. Let's grab this and look from the end, the other end, control three. Grab that center piece, shift S, cursor selected. And I'll look from the top down again and I'm gonna bring in a plane. Scale it down. that let's select that edge and extrude down like that and let's look at this feel it doesn't change its diameter uh, it seems like it gets a bit wider like that like it tapers out a little bit so I want to scale in the line like that and, okay uh, cool all right let's try solidify Actually, let's uh, control a rotation and scale and solidify and let's choose even thickness and just crank it up a little bit like that and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and then I come in and I'm gonna select uh, I think I'm gonna select the whole edge and control B and I'll put in a few edge loops like that and an edge loop over to the side and here and here near the front and near the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and throw on a subdivision surface 
maybe that's enough. Or maybe it isn't, I don't know. And we could see how it is with, uh, with one along here. Is that long enough? Let's go in further. It doesn't really matter that much. And I don't know if I'm going to do strings. Here it goes further, so it's hard to tell. Just pull it in further. Okay. What if I take this piece? bring it down it should be central so that's central with respect to the head and that hmm okay what's going on here central to the circle is it not necessarily, it doesn't line up tangentially, but it's central to, whereas if I took one of these, right, it's like perfect. So let's go with that. Build some kind of bridge out of this. If I can't, yeah, okay, that's good, it's not too compromised I was thinking of this and just moving this up four strings that may be too wide anyhow I don't know and then I was thinking doing that and maybe beveling and putting what one more in And then just selecting the top edge. I get the right ones and pulling them down. Okay. Oh, there's something simple. Um, Faces, have I? What do you think? It's simple. <laughs> really? Strings go over that? Then? Maybe, uh, maybe all of this needs to come up. presses that aren't necessary. I think that's basically what I wanted to build. Hmm? I don't think I'd string this thing. I really don't. to make it look similar to this some of those same colors um, all right well, let's uh, let's do this then let's drag a window up here and 
make it a UV image editor. And I think I have these just in my reference images. Just choose one we can see, open it up there. And hit N, that cap, get rid of that. Leave on ambient occlusion. And we'll, uh, let's go into the node editor. Oh, put that T and T. And node editor here. And we'll start with, let's say this. We'll click it, we'll come over there. Well, I can just do it here. Click new for new material. And uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. And we'll go shader principle. Drag that to there. And for the base color, I'm just gonna use the eyedropper and I'll color pick, say like that. And we'll switch this over to material. And it might be kind of close. And I'll use the same for that. And we'll to let's just uh, copy this and we click new. And come down here and go paste. Uh, probably could have just done plus. What did I do here? Paste material. Oh boy. Let's make another one. Okay, and for this one, let's color pick. Oh, we got selected. Hang on a second. Okay, okay. that's fine. This. There we go. Three. <laughs> and we'll color pick this outer region here. Okay, that's alright. This one, bring that one back to that. Oh, and the back is pink, eh? Okay, just the f inner face. Okay, so I take it back. Let's make it this color. And let's go into edit mode. And uh, actually, we'll hide this first. I'll go into edit mode and select all those. And we'll come out a certain ways. Maybe to there. And that will be uh, the other one. The bottom one, right? That color. We'll do a white ring. And so that's that one. And then this one is. I'm not sure. Do I see a bit of tan in there? Okay, so it's pink and then the light and then white. Okay, so let's make get the white one going too. Let's, uh, let's just make a new one. Just like that. That's fine. Okay, so white. So let's do this. Let's uh, turn off the subdivision so I can see. And if I go one more. Let's try that. Let's see if it's enough. And then I get the subdivision back on. Like that. I think, anyhow. And this one, it's the main body is. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. The main body of this one. In fact, can I? No, I don't think I want to be doing that. No, thank you. Okay, that's fine. The main body is tan, right? No, the main body is white. I think it's this one. And we'll throw in uh, this loop there. And here. And the top part is. 
change the tan. I'm calling it tan. Just have a look and see if that's anywhere near what I want. to do some work here. In fact, let's make sure there's no doubles. And we'll grab that and I'm gonna split it like this. wider there and uh, I got some other stuff in here uh, you know what starting to get funny here um, it helps me see no I don't want that I don't just all very like diffuse uh, right now I'm not uh, shiny or anything maybe I could make these like Let's, let's 
join this. what I'm missing. feel like I want them. And I don't know if I can do that. White um Very front. Okay, let's just try Shift D, P, and just a little experiment here. Let's go into this. Can I just dissolve the faces? Not those, why not? Well, I don't need that one anyhow. Can I then inset? delete that face and just have that and not that I don't know if it's that color assign that white you know sort of a cheating kind of way to do it let's hit T It's a great way of doing it at all, but it's something, it is something. We get that, eh? Um, does this have, it does. What if I scale this in the Y? I mean, or X when asking for trouble. And on there. No, that's, I think that's fine. Whether we keep that or not, I don't know. Give that a tiny bit of thickness. Nah, I don't think we do. Okay, and then let's uh, quickly uh, throw in uh, a camera. And lock camera view. And uh, let's throw in just the sun. Let's uh, minimize that. And the sun, let's make it 0 0.3 and let's say 5, a little bit yellowish. Let's look through the camera, hit the home button, 
and let's add a plane. Just give it like a darkish diffuse color so to reflect off of the camera. Let's just have a quick look here. I don't know where we like our shot from. I feel like all this should be white in there. You know, like, uh, just like turning that off so I can see a little bit better. Like all this, I think that should be white. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I mean, it just seems to, Anyways, uh, so then what I would do is I would just click the camera and I'll make this say 75 and under sampling, I'll go for just um, 200. Click here, make sure denoising is on. Save. Uh, let's see if I like my position here. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, hmm. No, we'll go back to this one. We'll do a couple of different renders. I feel like the neck would need a couple of dots. Maybe those frets could be wider. Maybe this could be rounder. I've been working graveyard shift now for two and a half months. So I you know, just watch my son and my daughter if she wakes up from 12 to 6 in the morning. And then my daughter does wake up. And then I'm on all day long with my wife until about 6 p.m. And then I try to get a few hours sleep and then I do it again. It's just my system is a little bit uh, confused, but uh, it's all right. Yeah, so this wasn't a great, a great plan. I could adjust that, but that's one way I could do that. Um, I could try to up the subdivision surface. Uh, of course, I might have been zoomed in a little bit too much, but yeah, I don't mind this part here. And then I lose lose the white right there, so maybe I get maybe just get rid of that. And we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's been interesting. My daughter is uh, in the is a toddler in the terrible twos. She's about two almost two and a half months uh, two and a half years sorry and um and then of course my son is uh about two and a half months and so uh and then i got the three dogs so it's been crazy yeah, crazy but uh it's all good how's this looking yeah that looks okay i'm not sure i would stick with all of those colors but that's the general idea for that. Uh, I'll do another render and I'll I'll pause the video so you don't have to hear my story the whole the whole way through. Um, okay, so I'll I'll do that now.